。喂喂 ，Hello， 我是呃，今天这场议程的主持人，我是小趴。那今天会有这两位讲师为我们带来，呃，他们针发现了一个针对台湾政府的 APT 攻击的行为。那使用的技术也是蛮新颖的，例如说。今年出现的佛利佛利拉等等，那相信这次的议程可以对，呃 ，S O S O C 的分析人员、I R 团队跟 C 社的一些工、一些一些工作者可以有，呃，可以有更多知识可以可以去探讨这样子。好，那我就把时间交还给他们两位。OK。Hello, everyone. Uh, in this session, uh, we will now introduce about Ground Peony. Uh, all of you have never heard of this name, Ground Peony. Uh, it is natural uh, because it is the name we gave it. Uh, Ground Peony is an APT group uh, targeting Taiwan, uh, but it uh, it has uh, rarely uh, appeared in public reports. So we researched and named it. In this presentation, uh, we share our findings with you. Uh, first, uh, we would like to introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Rinter Koike from NTT Security Holdings. Uh, I'm engaged in threat research and malware analysis. And uh, I'm Shota Nakajima from Cyber Defense Institute. I'm is also engaged in threat research and malware analysis. We are working under the team name Nausek. Uh, have you ever heard Nausek? Uh, recently, we have not been active, uh, but we sometimes attend conference like this time. Uh, actually, uh, it is the second time we have talked at Hitcon. Uh, we gave a presentation uh, at Hitcon Community uh, 2019. Uh, it was before COVID-19. Uh, the city of Taipei and Hitokan are uh, both uh, wonderful memories for us. Uh, therefore, uh, we be happy to be able to come to Taiwan again. Uh, last time, uh, we went to Zifun, Zifun, Zifun. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Hong, Hong <Fa> uh, <laughs> Taiwan version <laughs> Akihabara, <laughs> and uh, Laoha Street Night Market. Uh, uh, if you have any recommended sightseeing spots, uh, please let me know later. <laughs> uh, now, it, uh, let's, back, uh, let's get back to the main story. Uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, the name Grand Peony was created by us uh, and is not all generally known. Uh, based on our reading of the few public reports, uh, we believe uh, they are identical or are close to the group uh, WNC 3658 by Mandiant. Active since at least 2021, uh, uh, it targets uh, government organizations in East and uh, South Asia, uh, specifically Taiwan and Nepal. Uh, these are two points to uh, note about this group. Uh, first, uh, Grand Peony exploits zero day vulnerability. Uh, specifically, uh, it was the earliest exploiting CVE uh, 2022 uh, 30190, or also known as uh, Forina. Uh, Forina itself is not very complex vulnerability, uh, but uh, it is speculated that this group uh, could develop or have access to uh, zero day. Uh, this is very interesting. Second, uh, Grand Peony compromised website uh, for malware distribution. Uh, in the past case, uh, Nepal's government website was compromised. Uh, for these reasons, uh, Grand Peony is uh, considered to be an um, APT group with uh, high attack skill and high attack motivation. Uh, here's a quick look at Grand Peony's attack timeline. The, mal uh, the malware has uh, existed on virus total uh, since around 2021. The oldest attack campaign we know is from April to June 2022. Uh, around this time, uh, 
uh, foreigner was exploited uh, to attack Nepal, India, uh, and other countries. After that, uh, we forgot about them uh, for a while. Uh, but uh, they started attacking again uh, around March 2023. At this time, uh, they attacked uh, Taiwan and Nepal. In this talk, uh, we will deal with the attack case uh, of April 2022 and March 2023. Okay, uh, let's look at a specific case. Uh, the first is the attack on the Taiwanese government uh, that occurred in March 2023. The attack started uh, from spear phishing email. The email has a doc file attached, and the URL is written in uh, the doc file, uh, and the zip file is downloaded by the URL. The zip file uh, contains X file and VLL file and executing them uh, infect malware. Uh, let's dive into the details. Uh, the spear phishing email looks like this. Uh, it's uh, Mandarin, Chinese, so it might be easier for you to understand than us. It is uh, about uh, discussions on maritime issue between Taiwan and the USA. This time, uh, I put a mosaic in the image uh, that the destination uh, was Taiwan's uh, Ministry of Economics Affairs. Uh, also, the source is cable TV company in Taiwan. Uh, attached to uh, the email is a doc file uh, with the file name or regarding uh, bilateral consultations with the USA. Uh, when open the attached doc file, uh, it looks uh, like this. It pretends to have an error uh, instead of something like a file name. Uh, it says to apply an update to resolve the error. The URL is uh, written for the uh, download uh, of the update. Uh, when try to download the update file uh, from this URL, uh, it actually downloads a zip file containing uh, malware. The URL used at this time uh, is very strange. Uh, at first glance, uh, it may uh, look like a legitimate Microsoft website, uh, but due to the structure of the URL, uh, the original host information is country. In other words, uh, the part that uh, pretend to be a Microsoft or in the first half part uh, is not the essential part. When access this URL, uh, you will access to country, uh, and it will redirect to zip file. Uh, at this time, uh, the URL redirected from country was the website uh, of a Taiwanese educational institute, institution. Uh, but uh, this website was compromised uh, and a zip file containing malware uh, was pressed. Next, uh, let's take a look at the downloaded zip file. The zip file contains two exe files, uh, one text file uh, and one directory named uh, recycle.bin uh, that looks like Windows trash box. Uh, there are four files in the recycle bin directory, uh, always the docx extension, uh, but uh, these are not docx files. Uh, they are actually malware. Uh, by the way, uh, did you notice that uh, the update number uh, written in the doc file uh, and the zip file are different? Uh, we don't know uh, if this was simply a mistake by the attacker uh, or a remnant of uh, another ongoing attack campaign. Okay, uh, let's take a look at uh, how malware is ex executed. 
Uh, first, uh, there are two files with the X extension uh, included uh, in the zip file, uh, system security patch.exe uh, and install.exe. But the behavior is the same. Uh, when the exe file is executed, uh, the four files pressed in recycle.bin uh, will be copied to the MIC directory uh, under the uh, program data directory. Uh, at this time, uh, the names of the four files uh, are also code changed. Uh, the four files are named to mic.exe, uh, version.dll, uh, mic.doc, uh, and mic.bar. Uh, and then uh, mic.exe is executed. mic.exe is a legitimate file with a decent signature, uh, but uh, it rolls or version.dll, uh, which exists. Uh, in the same directory. Uh, when version.dll is executed by DL site loading, uh, it rolls and decrypts mic.doc. The decryption result is malware, a we call or mic down. Uh, I introduce the components that uh, make up mic down. Uh, first of all, uh, version.dll is a DLL file uh, loaded by mic.exe. DLL site loading. Uh, and this loads uh, mic.doc, uh, decrypts and uh, executed it. MIC down also loads the uh, load and uh, decrypts mic.bar. Uh, mic.bar contains the uh, encrypted uh, malware configuration. Uh, this allows uh, communication with the CNDC server. Uh, let's look at uh, each behavior in detail. Okay, okay. Uh, the coding of version.dl process is in, in two steps. First, version.dll decode mic.doc and executes uh, it as shellcode. The shellcode further decode itself and uh, continue execution. The export function of version.dl is very simple. First, uh, it uh, reads mic.doc into the memory area allocated by virtual alloc with read uh, write and execute permission. Then uh, it records that data with a custom XOR algorithm that combine sub XOR auto instruction. When decoding is complete, the process moves to the memory area where the decoded uh, shellcode is located. The decoded shellcode uh, use the same custom XOR algorithm as before. The RTL decompress buffer is then used to decompress. The shellcode is decoded uh, from the beginning of the file, ex uh, excluding jump instruction. Okay. The decoded code uh, execute the executable with the MZ header removed. It also decodes the data in mic.var and uh, uses it as a configuration. Finally, uh, it downloads and executes the shellcode from the C and C server uh, saved in the config. The shellcode is encoded with an algorithm uh, similar to that of a previous file. It uh, differs slightly from the file encoding algorithm in that the order of the add sub XOR instruction is swapped. Okay. 
The encoding config uh, consists of a 0x for 0 byte uh, C and C host area and uh, 0x2 byte port area. The IP address at the time was 103.199.17.184. Uh, this IP address uh, belonged to 365 online technology, the hosting company for the Vietnam. An um, attack similar to the Taiwan Taiwanese attack we have uh, previously described was also carried out in Nepal. Although the specific origin of the attack is unknown, a legitimate website was compromised and a zip file was installed, as was the case in Taiwan. The legitimate website that was uh, compromised was the uh, Nepal's government COVID-19 vaccine-related website. For reference, uh, China is known to have provided vaccine to Nepal as part of its One Belt, One Road partnership. It is unclear uh, what this has to do with the attacking campaign. In the attack against Nepal, uh, app.1drivo.com was used as a C and C server. The domain was uh, taken using public domain registry. We we'll own this domain later. Uh, this IP address uh, belong to Gigabit Hosting, uh, host, uh, uh, Hong Kong Hosting Company. Okay. In the attack against Nepal, uh, the malware behaves the same way. When the uh, file is executed, it's copy and rename the file and execute mic.exe. mic.exe are side loads version.dll. Then version.dll will re read the codes and uh, execute mic.doc. The malware executed was the same as the previous one, uh, called mic down. The CNC server used in previous attack on Nepal has been used in other attacks in the past. The attack on Nepal uh, occurred in April 2022. At the time, attackers uh, exploit CV 2022-31090, also known as uh, Horina. Finally, uh, the corporate strike beacon is executed. This uh, domain ha was used uh, the server to download this cloud site and the C2 server. Okay. Uh, this IP address belonged uh, belong to uh, the Mac hosting company, OllLogic. Let's look at the specifics of the attack. The uh, docx file that uh, serve, served as the decoy is uh, statement of ac accusation by person claiming to be a student at Katmandu University. We don't know the uh, authenticity of this equation. This uh, docx file contains the uh, external link settings. This will load the HTML file. The HTML file uh, contains JavaScript code to change to the location. The modified location is 
written with the scheme MS MSDT. This is a scheme uh, for the Microsoft support diagnostic tool. However, a uh, bug exists in this that allow PowerShell code to be executed. So PowerShell code to be executed from a docx file like this. The PowerShell code is download, uh, extract it, and execute it to cab file from the server. Inside uh, the cab file is the um, exe file made uh, by uh, file installer. This exe is a downloader and can be downloaded from one uh, do, do, drivo.com and run the cobalt strike beacon. Let me consider the attribution of this attacker. To begin with, uh, it is important when this attacker was exploiting Horina. Uh, Horina was finally exploited by a very large number of APT groups. But uh, that was after the details were made publish. Uh, here is here is the timeline. The first time we became known to the public was the, our tweet. We discovered the Horina sample against Belarusi on May 27 and tweeted about it. Uh, since then, uh, detailed explanatory, explanatory blogs have been published and the box have been released. Going back uh, earlier, uh, vulnerability was reported to Microsoft by the shadow chasing group on April 12. However, Microsoft did not acknowledge, acknowledge it as a vulnerability at the time. The attack reported it also against Belarusi. Let's go back further. In our research, we found samples from April 7 and 8. There are attacks uh, against Nepal and India. We believe uh, this is the uh, RS Horina sample. And these are the attacks by the group mandiant uh, called UNC3347, which we called uh, Grandly Peony. In other words, a grand, grand uh, Peony was uh, exploit Horina uh, during a perfect zero day period. Various uh, organizations have written reports about Horina exploits, but uh, China Next is the uh, only group that was uh, exploited Horina uh, during uh, zero day period. Therefore, uh, we believe uh, Grand Peony is the uh, only China Next APT group with uh, zero day access. Uh, let's look at uh, another indicator. We uh, analyzed an uh, exe file uh, made by file installer. That is uh, executed after the Horina exploit. The file installer binary can easily decompile the Python code. The extracted file uh, looks like this. A large amount of Chinese comment were written. Also, the code was copy pasted, pasted from various public repositories, but most of it was uh, written by Chinese developer. This is a very elementary mistake. However, uh, it is highly likely that the person who created the malware 
is a native Chinese speaker. Uh, based on our previous research, we have uh, created a diamond model, ground peony, also known as UNC uh, 3347, is a China Next APT group. They have been active uh, since at uh, least 2021. They target uh, East and South Asia, like Taiwan and Nepal. In particular, they seem to be targeting government agencies, research industries, and telecoms. The attackers begin with speaker uh, spear phishing email. They uh, compromise resume to website and use them for their attacks. There was nothing unique about uh, using IP address used and no connection to the victim country could be fine. Uh, Grand Peony also provides zero day access. Besides, uh, popular tools such as uh, Cobalt Strike, they also use Attackers, original malware. Uh, finally, uh, summary. Uh, Grand Peony is an APT group of which uh, little is known so far. It is uh, believed to be China next. It is uh, targeting East and South Asia countries like Taiwan and Nepal. In particular, uh, they seem to be targeting government agency, uh, research industries, and telecoms. One point was nothing. Uh, it's their use of zero day. Rina uh, was exploited in its early period. Uh, attackers also uh, compromised resume website and installed malware. Grand uh, Peony in an uh, aggressive APT group. Please keep an uh, eye on their future development. Uh, that uh, concludes our presentation. Uh, thank you for listening. Hello, uh, can you speak more about the Markdown law? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I, I have some questions. I just okay. want to know uh, the more about the Markdown law. Down. マイクダウンマイクダウンマイクダウンいやあマイクダウンはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいは
Ah, sorry, I forget. I forget uh, what software you use for side load. Notification no balloon, みたいなやつ。Microsoft やね。いや違う。のノラのやつ。ノラ。なんか。In the wild, in the wild software, third party software component, component use for DLL side loading. Okay. Uh, I will write down HackMD <laughs> for DT. <detail. laughs> okay. Oh, that. Have you any other questions? No, then I'll just hand it to the secretary. Oh, there is someone with hands. Just take the microphone. Thank you very much. So, may I have a question about the the, the very same malware? Okay. So, actually, we ran into this very same family of malware like a couple months ago with the same C2. So I'm wondering, like, did you observe any like changes or evolution process for this specific family? And are you able to like attribute this specific malware to any known family, or this is a brand new family that you you ran into in the like recent year? Thank you. Yeah, I think this malware is very simple and generic code. So, not not have a specific point and what is it? Version up. Thank you. 还有还有人有问题的吗？呃，没有的话就，好，就交给一晨助理了。谢谢各位参与这次的议程。那现在是下午茶时间，四楼南北侧走廊，所以这样子也可以成功。所以这个时候你就可以不用，呃，一定要这个点。A masking common theme and in-depth analysis of an emerging APT group focus on healthcare sectors in. East Asia 将在下午三点十分开始。最后提醒您，离开会厅时请记得带走随身物品，并注意不要占位。本大会并不负任何保管责任。若遗失物将会放置在服务台。谢谢。OK。哎，要。我的天。谢谢。谢谢。嗨嗨嗨。